Okay, we're back and we changed our key light. Uh, we added a light modifier. Now when you do that, it's a lot like adding diffusion to a light. There's an exposure factor that has to be added into uh, the output of the light. A light modifier generally takes about a stop and a half to two stops away from your overall exposure. So when we uh, had our little 650 focusable Fresnel on the set, uh, and we added our diffusion, that knocked our exposure down to about a four and a half. So in order to add a light modifier to our key light, we had to go to the next larger tungsten light or a 1000 watt light so that by the time we added the modifier and knocked down the output of the light, we could stay at our common four, four, five, six split uh, exposure. So if you go ahead and snap that on for us. Now this is a light modifier. It's also called a softbox. There's several manufacturers that make these, uh, Chimera or Chimera, depending on what side of the Atlantic you're from. Westcott, Photogenic, Profoto, and Photoflex all make light modifiers for motion picture lighting. Uh, Chimera, I think, was the first company to make their softboxes specifically for motion picture lighting and all of the sizes that we needed for all the different wattages uh, of fixtures that we use on a set on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is a medium, uh, I believe this is a Photoflex uh, softbox, okay? And it has an inner baffle and an outer, ba and an outer diffusion panel that are giving you a double diffusion effect uh, with a single source on the inside. Now, in this case, it's a 1,000-watt double-ended globe, a DXW, and that's a Mole Richardson 1,000-watt open-face fixture. Now, you guys have Phobotech lighting kits that have fluorescent softbox uh, arrangements, similar to what this is doing. This is incandescent, and this softbox could mount on anything uh, from about... Uh, four and a half inches accessory to nine inch accessory diameter. So that's a number of different fixtures from about a 300 watt airy Fresnel up to about a 2000 watt open face uh, Ian Arrow Blonde. Um, so it's kind of nice, it's flexible in that regard, whereas your Fovitec is designed specifically to fit the fixtures that you have in your kit and nothing else. So this is a way to adapt a conventional fixture to do similar work to what your Favitec kit is doing, except that this fixture is tungsten incandescent. Okay, but you can see that it has a nice soft quality about it. We've got this in the three o'clock position uh, on our shot clock. Again, if the cameras are at 6 p.m. and the backlight is at uh, 12 midnight, this key light is at about three o'clock and it's kind of nice. It's giving us the Rembrandt look. It's giving us nice contrast. I can open that up with a bounce board if I want to. Or I can leave the contrast heavy and emphasize the chiaroscuro of what that softbox will give me. In other words, the density of the shadows versus the highlight. It's very nice. It's got a very interesting look to it. We use these a lot in dramatic narrative because they're easy, they're quick to set up, and no matter, almost no matter what position we put this softbox in, it's gonna look good on the talent. And I wanna show you what I'm talking about. If we can start moving this light, let's put it at our 45 degree position and see if we can see what that looks like. In other words, two-legged against the uh, edge of the step there. Go ahead, keep going, Oop. and pan it around. Okay, see now how we're starting to open it up on her low side a little bit, the more frontal we become. Can we move it around some more? That's not bad. Uh, now what we've done is we've opened up about a half a stop by moving from this position to this position, so we might want to take that adjustment on our lenses. But you can see how we're opening it up some more on Kayla's right side. If you like a fuller look, uh, if you want to open up the mood or the, in, the intent of this lighting uh, for maybe a more romantic feel, uh, you can do that and then lower some of the contrast by introducing a fill light. We can also add an edge light. Vince, if you'll snap your light on for me. Watch that. And pan it right a little bit. There we go. And pull your blue gel out of there if you could, please. And any scrims you might have in there. That's good. You can just leave it lay there. You got any scrims in that thing? Nope. Okay. 
So we can add an edge light to finish this look, and I think it's actually quite nice. The soft box is very, uh, very manageable. It doesn't take as many people to use soft boxes on set as it does with hard lights. We're not employing a lot of flags and a lot of extra diffusion frames. And this is a very quick look that we can achieve right away. This is also a look that we would use uh, on interviews uh, fairly frequently. Uh, it's a quick look to achieve with a, with a Shamir or a softbox setup. And it looks nice generally no matter where you put the key light. I think I prefer it back where we were on number one, don't you? Keep sliding it over there, keep going. And it's kind of nice high up, but let's lower it about a foot. And keep going, keep going that way. Keep sliding that way. That's, that's a nice half light look right there. And we can add a little bit of passive uh, reflectance to this, or a little bit of bounce. And that kind of open up, opens up the contrast kind of nicely. So that's a soft box. That's what a, that's what a soft box or a Shamira will give you uh, when you add that to your fixtures. So now what I want to do is show you another soft key light equivalent uh, in a photographic uh, fluorescent fixture called Kino Flow. And what that is is a fluorescent fixture that's been modified uh, so that the output is photographically correct uh, in tungsten and daylight frequencies for our photographic cameras. Uh, it's a very interesting product line. It's been around for about uh, 20, 25 years now. And uh, it's another alternative to a soft source key. So we're going to swap this out for Kino Flow next.